everyone. I feel alive and I feel very honored to be here. My presentation today has to do with incidental learning with deaf students. My point of this presentation is not to only apply it to deaf students in a mainstream setting, but also in different settings as well, like medical and other appointments. There are three kinds of learning. The first one is formal learning, and then there's informal learning, and we have incidental learning. Formal learning is more of a structured environment. And there's more like more, there's a discussion so we had and a curriculum that you go off of. Informal learning is not as structured. You can see right here in this presentation that there are people are chatting in this audience and just signing. It's kind of relaxed. There's no structure or lesson plan. And the last one is incidental learning. It's not the same environment, but it's more about other people's ideas coming around you. And you can kind of engage whenever you feel like it and then keep it in the back of your head for later. And then when you hear something again, you can connect it with that memory that you learned from previously. And you can make that connection. You can, incidental learning is visual and also an auditorial learning as well. Incidental learning happens a lot in mainstream environments. They're moving on to the next slide. Incidental learning is taking in your environment and you can take in whatever you want. Or you can just forget about it. Today we're going to discuss some examples of incidental learning. I'm going to share some of my own personal experiences with it. When I was around six, seven, eight years old, I was playing outside and I went inside because I was feeling really thirsty and I saw my parents having a conversation in the kitchen and my mom was holding a piece of paper and I was able to read her lips and she said, interest is killer. I didn't know what that meant, but I just kept it in the back of my head and I went back and played outside. It wasn't until high school I was taking an educational class and the teacher was letting us know about credit cards and high interest rates that I remembered what my mom had said and that made me realize at that point I didn't ever want to have a credit card 